Hi everyone, today we'll be comparing Face ID version 2 SDXL, an instant ID to see which one is the best pick for you right now. We'll be using the IP adapter Face ID version 2 on Comfy UI and Instant ID on Automatic 1111. Both interfaces employ the same DreamShaper XL Turbo Checkpoint model for quicker results involving just five steps and two in CFG. Also, don't forget to check out the workflow and all the helpful links in the description below. Now, let's get started. We're using an AI influencer from Instagram as our reference for face features. Our process involves three images showcasing Face ID new ability to adjust face structure weight. The weights we're testing are 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 1. After generating the images in my opinion, the third image, with a weight of 1, thus matches our reference face. Next, we'll apply the same prompt to Instant ID on Automatic 1111. If you haven't got this feature yet, just update your control net from the Extensions tab to access Instant ID. We're using the same model and settings as with Comfy UI. From my observation, Instant ID seems to outperform Face ID version 2, offering clearer facial features and a closer resemblance to our reference image. Let's switch back to Comfy UI and tweak our prompt altering hair color and clothing to see how both Face ID and Instant ID respond. Face ID generated an accurate image that both followed our prompt and made our reference face look fantastic. Repeating the process with Instant ID on Automatic 1111, we got an equally stunning result with Instant ID. We also experimented with changing the background style and more while keeping the face consistent with our reference. This flexibility is pretty awesome. For a final test, we used a familiar celebrity face. Instant ID delivered a precise and convincing result, but Face ID fell short this time. Comparing the two, Instant ID more effectively captured the essence of the reference face's structure and features, something Face ID struggled with. However, it's important to note that Instant ID, which uses Insight Face and cannot be used for commercial purposes, and it is slightly slower in processing images compared to Face ID version 2. That's it for today. Remember, you can find all the details of our workflow and useful links in the description below. Just a heads up, this video focused solely on the review and didn't cover installation. For guidance on installing the IP adapter, downloading models, and where to place them, be sure to check out my previous video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already.